The next weld on the cover pass is going to be laid right beside the first pass. And once again, we'll be aiming for the toe of that weld. And half of the weld that we're depositing now is going to go over top of the first weld of the cover pass. And the other half of the weld will be deposited on the rest of the filler metal that's already in the joint. Cover pass will have a total of five welds. The next weld, the third weld, will, just like the second weld, be laid right next to the previous weld. We'll be aiming for the toe in hopes that the weld will cover the previous weld by one half and the other half of the weld will go to lay upon the base metal which is already in the groove. Weld four of the cover pass will be laid just like welds two and weld three. Okay, we're going to finally deposit the last weld on this test. We will be angling the electrode towards us slightly and we will be filling the little um, area of undercut which is present in the joint. Okay, now that our weld is completed, you should see that this has very good fusion. It's got good blend. There's no undercut, no porosity, or any other kinds of defects present. The weld reinforcement is not too high, nor is it underfilled. And this is a good example of how the V-groove should look when you're finished.